Greetings guys! Tell ya, no time like the middle of a global pandemic to catch up on binge watching all of your favourite shows on your streaming platform of choice. Or perhaps catching up on all those Blu-rays and DVDs that you've not been watching. With that in mind, I'd like to do a review today on this uh, Blu-ray that I watched recently, which is uh, the Royal Space Force Wings of Honey Nisei um, Collector's Edition from those lovely people at Anime Limited, or all the anime as they're sometimes known. This is probably one of the most overlooked uh, anime classics, and I'm going to tell you why you should go out and buy this version of it in particular. and Blu-ray box sets so it includes both discs. Um, I would certainly recommend if you've got the ability to watch it on Blu-ray that you watch the Blu-ray version because it is beautifully animated by those wonderful people at Studio Gainax. In fact this was their first major production in about 1987. Uh, directed by Hiroyuki Yamaga and uh, character designs by Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, who of course would more famously go on to do things like uh, character designs for Evangelion and Fuli Kuli. Uh, if we take the slipcover off, we can see that inside is some brilliant character art by Sadamoto. You know, I think that is just, pro that is probably some of the best character designs he's ever done. Uh, there's a sense of more maturity to these characters as opposed to the sort of childlike characters that he's done for a lot of the other Gainax shows that he's been involved with. And when we, uh, we actually take it out, on the inside is the iconic image of the main character on his little motorbike in his astronaut suit. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a alternate universe film um, where the, the Space Force is trying to put the first man into space. So the nation of Honimise, um, which is where this main character is from, are, you know, almost like in a cold war with, um, with the neighboring country known only as the Republic. And so the, there's definite parallels between our own experiences with the space race in this, kind, uh, in this world. Obviously inside we get a Blu-ray and a DVD disc. But perhaps more interestingly in the slipcase is this lovely little artwork book that details a lot of production. It also includes a lot of breakdowns including Hideaki Anno, who of course was the writer-director for Evangelion, and what he brought to the project as a director of animation. So you can see where he even came up with this idea to do virtual camera angles uh, to capture the motion of the, the dogfighting and the planes in it in a way that wasn't normally done in animation. What I love about this movie is that whilst Gainax have done so many critically acclaimed shows, many of which I'm a big fan of, there's something about this show in particular or this piece in particular that really and truly stands apart from almost all of Gainax's other work. There's a there's a sense of realism to it. There's a sense of fantastic designs to it in terms of the the planes, the rockets. There's a there's a, a sense of detail of technical excellence that you don't see as often. They set out with the the intention of making something akin to the kind of work that Studio Ghibli was to, um, making. They wanted to make something with that level of world building in it that um, Miyazaki is so well known for. What's particularly interesting is there was an interview with Hiroyuki Yamaga and Miyazaki. And Miyazaki was saying he went to the cinema um, not expecting to enjoy it. He was under no obligation to enjoy it, is what um, he's actually quoted as saying. But when he left, he was pleasantly surprised. He, he genuinely thought that this was a praiseworthy piece of work. 
on top of the beautiful animation in this film, um, and I say all, all the wonderful artwork and character designs in this, it is then scored to a wonderful soundtrack by Oscar-winning composer Ryuichi Sakamoto, perhaps more well known for his work on um, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, and then later on, uh, The Last Emperor. This is, I think it's probably, as I said before, it's one of the most criminally underrated anime of all time. And it's well worth an inclusion in your collection, if nothing else than the, the quality of the animation in it hasn't dimmed at all since it was done in 1987. There are modern animated films, not just by anime studios, but by Western animation companies, that don't even come close to the true immersion world building that Honey Mise has. So I would strongly recommend, if you get the chance, to go out and to to get this this wonderful collection, um, that you do so. Say so Anime Limited, they have it on their website. I think, you know, it, it's definitely one that is worth every anime fan seeing at some point. Hopefully this uh, breakdown, this, this summary of, of this beautiful piece is, is helpful to you. And I will see you guys soon. Stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.